Okay, in this video I'm going to start talking about trigonometric integrals. And this is going to be part one of at least six. Um, and just because there's a lot of cases to go through. The basic idea with trigonometric integrals is you're just using trig identities and u substitution. It's nothing really deeper than that. Um, although sometimes making things work out, you do... It's basically when things don't fit the correct cases when you have to be really clever. Otherwise, it's just kind of memorizing some recipes. So the first one we're going to look at is when you have cosine to a power times sine to a power. We want the powers to be positive whole numbers, and we want at least one of the powers to be odd. The idea is we're going to, whoever's odd, we're going to save one of those and then use this trig identity. So I always remember the old saying, at least uh, I always heard it was the odd man out. You're the odd man out. So in this problem, um, notice we have an odd power of sine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bust up my sine as sine squared. And then I keep a sine factor. Okay, so I'm kind of busting up again the odd guy. So again, if you multiply sine squared times sine of x, you would get your sine cubed back. Well, my cosine squared is still just hanging out in there. And now the idea is you use your trig identity, sine squared um, plus cosine squared equals 1. And we're going to use that to replace the sine squared term. So we would get that sine squared is equivalent to 1 minus cosine squared of x. Okay, so again, just using our trig identity, um, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So if we solve that simply for sine squared, we'll get 1 minus cosine squared. So there he is just hanging out. Um, and then, okay, so there's my original cosine squared, there's my sine x still hanging out. The whole point of doing this is now you can do a u substitution. Um, you can do a u substitution where you let simply u equal cosine of x. Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine of x. So multiply both sides, we'll get negative du is positive sine x dx. And then it's just a matter of replacing everything with your u substitution. So I assume if you're seeing trig integrals, you've probably seen u substitution a fair amount at this point. So we're left with 1 minus u squared. Again, cosine is u, so I'll have another u squared. And this is the whole point of saving this one odd factor, is so that your u substitution works out. So if you plug in, you'll get negative du. And now it's just a regular old polynomial that you can multiply out. So if you distribute, you'll get u squared minus u to the fourth du. If you just integrate this like normal, you'll get u to the third over three with my negative. If I distribute, I'll get a positive u to the fifth over five plus c. And simply now plug your u substitution back in. So negative cosine cubed of x over three. Whoops, cutting that off. Um, plus cosine to the fifth of x over 5 plus c. Okay, so that's the basic idea. Um, so let's do one more here. Um, you know, suppose both powers are odd. Again, it doesn't really matter in that case either. Just pick one. So I've got sine cubed, cosine cubed, Again, it doesn't matter. Maybe this time we'll bust up the cosine term instead. So you could write this as sine cubed of x. Again, I'm going to have cosine squared times the cosine of x. <clears throat> There's my cosine cubed term that I'm just simply rewriting. Now I'm going to get rid of the cosine squared. So I'm going to have sine cubed x. If I replace cosine squared, I'll get 1 minus sine squared x. Again, I still have my cosine x hanging out. <clears throat> okay, so my cosine squared is turning into the 1 minus sine squared. And again, now just do a u substitution. If you let u equal this time sine of x, the derivative will be cosine of x dx. 
<clears throat> so if we plug that in, we'll simply get u to the third out front. It's supposed to be a u. And then we'll have 1 minus u squared. <clears throat> Cosine of x dx is simply du. If you distribute, you'll get u cubed. So if you integrate, you'll get u to the fourth over 4. I'll get a negative u to the fifth. If I integrate, I'll get u to the sixth over 6 plus c. Again, just simply plug your u substitution back inside of there. You'll get sine to the fourth of x over 4 minus sine to the six of x over six plus c is your answer. Okay, so again, these are pretty cookie cutter. Um, they follow the formula. So um, well, the next video I'm gonna do another case, this time where um, both of the powers on sine and cosine are even and what you have to do in that scenario.